Hey right guys, Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of Monsters Season 1. Last episode was kind of all flashbacks, uh, we didn't get to the present date at all, just to kind of give uh, POV and context to the parents uh, side of things. So I mean it's kind of still played out the same, we're just scenes that we haven't seen already basically. Um, so yeah, I think it went on a little bit too long the last episode, it was like an hour and five minutes or something so it was the longest episode we've had so far but uh again still very well acted very well done episode but episode seven we are in the final third now of the show so uh, we should start getting on with the court side of things and then the verdict as well i assume in like the next episode or the finale so if you enjoy make sure to leave a like as it does help the video and it does help the channel and patreon is linked down below if you do want to join us over on there as well as all my social media stuff but for now let's do this oh it's straight in the court Hey, okay. The jury has reached a verdict. The hell? That was just in something the case else. Of the state of California oh, okay. versus it's a different... John Thomas Sweeney, not guilty. Well, okay, 1983. On the count. I think I said he was the uncle from the bear, by the way. He's not. <laughs> yeah, showing that he has a personal vendetta. This man's history of violence against women. He beat my daughter for months and then killed her. He ripped out. <laughs> oh! But, I mean, you said that we wasn't guilty, so why are you acting all sad now? I hope you rot in hell, Baylor. And you, how can you sleep at night defending this monster? Oh, he said it. I know, like my parents, they really don't believe you. Lyle, they want us to break up. Oh no. <laughs> what a shame. I need you to do something. I need you to say that my dad raped you. Okay. What? Jesus. No. You want me to say what? I just want you to remember that time that you oh found me God, locked I'm in the trying closet. to get some more like witnesses. I don't remember that. Oh, okay. In Tupperware container to go to the bathroom and... Are you sure this was me? Yes. How the fuck don't you remember this? I'm trying to put stories into people's heads. You just have to remember that it happened because it did. Or at least tell other people that you remember it because you do. Come on, oh. Brian. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's the play then. He would quack at me because he said I walk like a duck. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> around the house with a knife. I wish you were never born! Is this things he's just coming up with? Do you think he's behind the whole thing? Lyle just invents the whole story, convinces Eric to go along with it? No. She kind of ate some food that looked like her hair a little bit then. Oh, is he getting I fun letters? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're innocent. I'm psychic. <laughs> I don't get people who like write to murderers and psychopaths. Like, I'm your fan. My name is Candy, and I'm a divorced mother of two who struggled with weight my whole. <laughs> you like say no more. You couldn't have done the things they say you did. I could tell from your eyes. Look how many he has, bro. Oh my god. Norma. Norma. My name's Norma. Lyle Menendez. Hello. She's been sat at the phone Hi. waiting. Norma? Any day now, oh girl. God, I'm your biggest fan. You sound hot. Hmm. Is this his play? Can I ask why? Why did you make that up? Problem is, if they saw saying that in court, like you make one thing of it, it's just gonna put doubt in the jury. Oh, they made that up, then maybe they made other things up. Sorry to interrupt the video here, guys. It's just a reminder that we don't take any sponsors on this channel, so this is just kind of sponsored by me. And it's just a short, quick reminder to let you guys know that if you do want to join us over on Patreon, the link will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. You can join us over on there for free to get certain posts, or you can join us for a certain pledge, and you can get the early and uncut reactions to pretty much all the shows that I do. Or as another option, you can click the join button under the video, and for just $2 a month, you can get loyal loyalty badges, early access to new videos, and priority reply to all comments. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. Now back to the video. Whatever video that might be. No, I knew that they were going to kill us. It was just a matter of when. Which is why the boat trip was so scary. Yeah. Apparently that bit's true. Someone was saying on YouTube. Like I said, I don't want to look into it myself. I just don't want to read like the outcome because I want to just get the show done first and then I'll look and stuff. Where are you going? Oh. Cool. We're just going to the movies. Oh, no, you're not. You're not going to touch my brother. You're never going to fucking touch my brother ever again. Your brother is my son, and I can do whatever they want with him. Move away. Not really how it works. Move away. You don't get to say anything! You ruined this family. Okay. They were going to grab their guns. Where are their guns? Are their guns upstairs? I don't know. Do, do we go check? 
This is what they think they're doing. I wonder if they would have done it if they were if they didn't have that in their head that they were gonna try to beat them to it kind of thing. Oh. Jesus. What could have been? But that's not what happened. No, but that's why we, that's what we thought was going to happen. I don't believe it. I don't believe a word you are saying if I am the jury. Yeah, if she don't believe it then. Oof. Put her out of her misery. No, you're not a farmer, mm. Lyle. <laughs> farmer. She's not your prized sow. Why did she deserve to die? Because she let him rape us. Yes. It's like, you do have to, like, show the emotion, though. Like, because they showed the little clip of them, like, having no emotion and how everyone was just against them. But I loved her. I loved her. And I still do. I love my mom. I love my mommy. Now do you believe? Very good, Lyle. Okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> Jesus. July 1993. So how long's this been? Was the shooting in 89? <laughs> just feeding myself. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just large print so I can read it. It won't be going as long as the prosecution did. <laughs> oh, got a few giggles in there. Nice, nice. They fired those guns in self-defense. Ah, I think they'd get into prison. I've seen some things that leads me to believe they... Have. What a coincidence, but, it's exactly the same defense you use in the Arnell Salvatierra case. Maybe it was the same circumstances. You didn't make up the sexual abuse, did you? Because it sure worked last time. Bye, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but you should realize he gave you something. He gave you a career and a fucking point of view. <laughs> For that, you should thank him. <laughs> uh... Left him a bit silent. I've got some real estate near the San Andreas Fault. Yes, 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 yes. He loves it. Lyle and Eric really scared that their parents were going to murder them during that boat ride when there were three other people on that boat as well. <laughs> Wouldn't they then call the police and tell them the truth? No. Wouldn't they confess and come forward? They lied to the public, their friends and relatives. Look, I'm all nodding along like, yes, go off, king. <laughs> he wanted to toughen him up. How many summers would you estimate you spent with your cousins? I spent eight summers with them. And when you stayed with your cousins... Oh, is he going to come up with the story he was told to make up? As soon as Jose took either one of the boys into their room, he'd lock the door. Kitty made it clear you did not go down that hallway. Ever. But, yeah. but who at this table didn't experience some form of what? abuse when they were growing up? Bro, bro, shut up. My father beat me with straps, hangers, a riding Yeah, belt. but it's not even what's being spoken about, is it? I escaped the old-fashioned way. I moved out. Nick. I got out of the old fan. <laughs> Neither were the Menendez brothers. Sizable omission. Okay, mate. <laughs> The therapist they were forced to go to while their parents were sat there. After reading several books about parasite. This guy's just like going off loads of waffle. Random inputs from random nobodies. He's like, yeah, as well apparently. It's like, okay. Another, another Ryan Murphy scene for the sake of it. A reporter just randomly said that. Like, well, I don't get why. Ugh. It's the idea of transference. Oh, a nobody reporter might have said this at dinner once, so let's let's add that, implement that into the TV show. Okay, <laughs> okay Ryan Murphy. Confuse us with outlandish legal theories. Drum up enough sympathy and portray... This guy loves the sound of his own voice, don't he? Bloody hell. But when you savagely snuff out <laughs> another <laughs> person's <laughs> life... Oh, no, this is why we... To learn about his daughter. It shouldn't matter. Because he's just like overly involved in it now. You should be punished to the fullest extent. Of um. The Menendez brothers deserve, and I pray for the sake of justice. You are a twat. So like, his daughter was strangled to death. If she was being strangled and picked up up a knife somehow and stabbed the guy who was strangling her, and he died, she deserves to have the full. Set the law, like, based on his wisdom there. What a loser. So if she had killed the man she was attacking, she should spend her life in prison. 
Okay, mate. I remember my dad flying into a drunken rage and... Don't get me wrong, I don't, I'm very confused, based on what I've seen, I'm very confused how this guy got away with it. Because whatever happened in his past, what's I got to do with him strangling someone? My dad was violent, so I had to strangle this woman, you see? The bastard even admitted it right there on the lawn. I killed her. How is... I tried to kill myself. I'm very confused how this guy is in imprisonment. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I assume that part's true about this guy's daughter and stuff like there's a real case or whatever which is wild because then you think of like all the people who've gone to prison for longer for less well say so you have a bag of weed in your pocket 20 years in prison there I do oh they're Please on the stand there alright why did you kill your parents because we were afraid do you remember firing a very close shot at your father I believe so I don't remember I remember the picture the picture you saw here did, would they have this on tape. She had quite a bit of the Dharma case on tape. I, I reached over and I shot her close. Oh. They're nodding their heads. Can you please ask the witness to speak up? Yes, uh, Mr. Menendez, if you wouldn't mind speaking a bit closer to the mic. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Mr. Menendez, this envelope says... So why could you just push the mic closer, no? You'll lean forward. Take photos of our genital area. Um... Of like your lower half of your body, and, uh, or if you're bending over. Well, they're getting into it. Did your father ever have sexual contact with you? Yes. How did it start? He would uh, massage me, and he uh, would show me. And like here, surely he's not even like acting for this. Tube of Vaseline, and he just played with me. Yeah, well, hopefully the whole thing. Yeah, I can't see why I shot him in the face then. He keeps touching me. What did your mom say? She said, stop that, and that you're exaggerating, and that your dad has to punish you when you do things wrong. How do, how do you think they're making this up? I mean, he can't explain why he doubts people already, but... What did you do to your brother? The him, bro. I took a toothbrush and played with Eric in the same way. God. <laughs> Yo, they got the tears from the jury. I think he believes it, hasn't I? I think the report kind of believes it. I think that was the greatest testimony ever given in the courtroom. I was like a white knight up there. Yeah? Oh, I agree. And I'm not going to stop at just a book. No, I'm going to take this whole fucking thing and I'm going to turn it into a screenplay and make a movie. Uh, you know who can play no, for? Richard fucking Greco, no. that's who. I mean, honestly, Scott. What are you doing? Bro, did this actually happen? Oh my god, mate. Oh, that's I fucked owe it. You an apology. No need to apologize, Dominic. Just quit stalking me. I'm sorry. I had no idea. That's fucked it for him. Either those two boys, the most sickening abuse imaginable, and their parents got exactly what was coming to them. If, he, if he's bloody saying that. Why does it? I don't get why Lyle's like that. Because th those things did happen. Well, we're led to believe those happened. I believe they happened. So why has he got to then go on to do that? So, oh my god, bro. I'm really sorry. She was a beautiful girl, and she had her whole life ahead of her. I love you, Daddy. Oof. At least I'll have that forever. It's a good few last words to have, to be fair. That is baffling that the guy who strangled her is oh, got away with that. The fuck? Because yeah, I don't get how, like... It's like the Men Menendez brothers, everything they went through, but then they just went and killed, like, some random girl. It's like, okay, but they killed the parents, so it's a bit more makes sense than people who actually did it. Oh, God. Another tough, rough app. Um, oh, the episode's actually called Showtime as well. Yeah. Okay, we have two episodes left, so I assume we'll get the verdict maybe the end of the next step, and then Ep 9's kind of... Maybe in the Ep 9, though, and then Ep 9 is like the kind of aftermath of it, and maybe it's going to kind of where they're at now kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so I think he was talking to either one of his fans, he's just waffling on, or his girlfriend, and she's writing it and recording it all down, so, uh, oof, bad. If, I'm assuming that did actually happen as well, and that's going to come up in court as well, but, uh, yeah, very, again, as I've said with all the episodes, very well acted episodes, we didn't really go into the past at all, other than, like, them going over some events from other people's point of views, like the reporters. And we had a lot of the report this episode, actually, and even he kind of came around to them in the end, just, like, knowing that they're not... It's weird because it's like, you want to say they're not acting. I think Eric wasn't putting on a performance there, but, like, Lyle, what he's saying is true, 
but he's still putting on a performance to get the emotion out of it. It's like he's kind of... And I think I read that this part about him was just completely false, that he just had no emotion involved with it. And it's like he's putting on that emotion while recounting the events of it. Um, I don't know. Like, I guess some people talk about things in their past and they don't get, you know, all emotional about it or cry about it. So... It's like the things happen, but maybe you just can't cry about it. Anyway, like naturally cry about it anymore um, is probably the case. But like they were saying earlier, it's like the jury need to see that kind of emotion. And then he's on the call at the end. He's like, yeah, yeah, I just like, fooled all the jury. I got it. Boom, boom, boom. It's like, <laughs> just kind of whatever. So yeah, interesting episode. But yeah, two remain. So I'll probably do up eight. I might do up on eight, nine and back to back tomorrow just to get it finished. But thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for episode... Eight, the penultimate episode. Until then, take care. Peace.